タクポヒリエレレアツラキテヒクオテイカテパネオテマツキテパカピッツィタガイラカワギテワイパウナムウェエイハテラネイラテミヒキアカウトウコペカマイコカケマイキアタマラホキイテナイファレファカルルハウエツワキネイイテワキアファカヌイツヤイテラマツルキキテタウトコホキイテカウパパコレロお手ファカコタイタガお手なお手なおがふれ。Now, I want everyone in this room to reflect on how much they could understand what I just said. What I said was a greeting to give thanks to everyone for their participation in the k a u p a p a we are here for today and to also give you insight into where I'm from in the hopes you may find a connection because I believe that connection is the basis of achieving racial equity. I also believe it to be a statement for how much further Aotearoa has to go as a country into reaching racial equity. I believe this because it shows the difference in how Te Reo Māori is understood depending on where you are, despite it being a national language, and it also shows the unbalanced value that is placed on Māori tanga within New Zealand. I was blessed to be brought up in Kura Kaupapa in Kohanga Reo. My te reo and tikanga are founding principles of my education and have given me a firm understanding of my identity. But once I entered intermediate in high school, I entered a mainstream school. And <laughs> let me tell this straight. He uri a hauna po raurangi mate tai rafiti. And I'm proud to walk in my mana every single day. And I waltzed into this mainstream environment believing that everything would be the same. My reo would be an integral part of my life, and tikanga would dictate the majority of what I did. Oh, good lord, was I wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the culture shock of integrating into an environment where few, if any, spoke Māori, in fact, there were few Māori to start with, and people wore their shoes inside and on their beds. <laughs> It was, to put lightly, a difficult transition, but I've been fortunate enough to find support as I've grown older. But I have noticed a prominent issue that affects mainstream environments across all of Aotearoa. It is a concept that I have coined cultural side projects, and I believe it demonstrates the current state of race relations within Aotearoa. Within the confines of a cultural side project, it dictates that culture and diversity can only be embraced when it is convenient or for the sake of portraying an image of good race relations. For example, During National Language Weeks, kiwaha sentence structures of that language are all around to find, but once it's over, they're removed and no one really bats an eye. And in fact, language programs are usually the first to go in light of budget cuts in school programs. Or, for another example, when a workplace wants to market itself as being diverse, it will place the minority workers onto the pamphlets, but underneath the surface, they're overlooking discrimination complaints from said workers. Cultural side projects devalue culture and can be seen as a modern form of commercialism by portraying an image of good relations. The other problem with it is that it creates this narrative that diversity can only ever be an add on feature to Western protocols, as opposed to tikanga and kawa that are building pillars of a society of equal standing and should be treated as such. And I'll give another example with a Māori tanga. Our kōru designs are on tourism pamphlets, and we market ourselves as a bicultural nation, yet deep down, we know we are still far from it. The reason that I've chosen to base some examples on Māori tanga is because I myself am Māori and navigating my way through a post colonial Aotearoa, and I don't get out much, so I couldn't really ask around. <laughs> But, and I wanted to be here today to bring forward these hara that we are facing across the rohi. I believe the analogy this year o n g a m a t i m a t i o t e r i n g a Kotahi is the perfect theme of how we can approach change. In the sense that it means one finger alone, that ain't going to do much, but all fingers together of one hand can come together to complete any task just in the way a hand was meant to be used. Just in the way that in Te Ao Māori we always find a connection. Mai te hiko te ika ki te wai paunamu, we are all as one. And we will strive together as one. I te tuatahi, me timata maurunga. The first major step would be to achieve true equality within our political institutions, beginning to not only value the treaty, but to honour te treaty. Mana taurite and patui tanga are key principles of te treaty. And this not only applies to Pākehā and Māori relations, but to anyone that steps foot within Aotearoa, 
because under Te Tiriti, everyone is protected as Tangata Tiriti and are meant to coexist with Tangata Whenua, beginning to not only embrace oral teachings and Māori perspective of whakawhanaunga tanga and collectivism and value it in the same way we value Western teachings will break this narrative of Māori tanga only being an add-on feature within New Zealand. Kei Waenganui, the next major step will be to prioritise the education of our history within Aotearoa. We have begun to take a step forward towards this with the reformation of our history curriculum within NCEA that comes in next year onwards. With the te rangatira he kōrero, ko tāte ware he muhukai. Education is an effective tool since it distills ignorance and opens up conversations between peers. And sadly, ignorance is still a prevalent issue that holds many further back. Just last year, I had to work for over six months with my school to establish a policy that would allow taonga to be worn alongside the uniform. I went through the proper protocols. I wrote a written proposal. I submitted it to the Board of Trustees. I waited to have it approved by the Board of Trustees and I waited even longer to have it approved by staff. This process took so long because they attempted to approach it as if it was just another piece of jewellery to put alongside the uniform, as opposed to a piece of taonga, a taonga tuku iho that holds its own mauri and whakapapa. This demonstrated to me that there was a lack of pātui tanga with Māori tikanga on an institutional level, and what affected me was the fact that its value was diminished. And I knew that if the proper teachings were present and the proper pātui tanga was present, I would never have had to go through that. I still got in the newsletter though. <laughs> All these changes so far include changes to our institutions, but that isn't quite everything. At the end, kite mutsunga, societal change, individual change must occur as well. Now, as individuals, it's a large task to tackle racism, I will admit, but a start can be made in being intolerant towards intolerance. In the words of Angela Davis, it's not enough to be non-racist, we must be anti-racist meaning we must consciously stand against it. Showing concern for one another builds care and tolerance, which overcomes the toxic force of bigotry. And when we as a whole are striving for racial equity, it is a primary obstacle we must overcome together. Hei tā papa anaru to te rewa kupinga. Aroha ki te tangata, au kua kōwai te tangata. Aroha is an all-encompassing term that references the feelings of trust, honesty, and as we all know, love. By embracing this old tikanga, I believe that societal change and individual change is possible. I hope that in the future, we as a collective will continue to strive for racial equity and that in the future, which hopefully isn't too far away, we will no longer view culture as just a side project, but as a gift we wish to care for and nurture. Ka ora au, i a koe, ka ora pē, koe, i au. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā rā tātou, katoa.